Disappointedly, after uh, this meeting here today, what I do see is uh, that we are going to see more of the same uh, from this Prime Minister. Saskatchewan Premier Scott Moe sharing his feelings after meeting with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Moe was hoping that Trudeau would be willing to play ball after being handed a minority government. But that didn't happen. We had provided some options for him uh, to support uh, the people of the province and, uh, and today I did not hear uh, a commitment to uh, moving forward on those items. Trudeau met with two adversaries, Scott Moe and Conservative leader Andrew Scheer. Both Moe and Scheer are trying to address a fractured country since the election that saw the Liberals shut out in both Alberta and Saskatchewan. Ever since, there has been more and more talk about Western separation, with groups like Wexit forming and holding rallies. Well, I spoke to the Prime Minister about the very real uh, crisis that our country is in as it relates to national unity. Both Sheer and Mo want a greater commitment to build pipelines. Mo is also looking for Trudeau to freeze the carbon tax for one year. We had asked for a commitment with respect to uh, putting the carbon taxation policy on pause and working towards real solutions uh, to, uh, to have a fair wealth distribution or equalization program that is fair to all provinces in this nation and last to ensure that we have uh, an opportunity to get our goods to market beyond the TMX pipeline. Trudeau did announce that Parliament will sit again on December 5th with a throne speech that will lay out his government's priorities. After the election, Trudeau said a tax cut for the middle class would be his top priority. The throne speech will likely reveal whether he's willing to appease both the federal opposition and provinces. It's up to Mr. Trudeau to find common ground to get his throne speech passed. Trudeau will be naming his federal cabinet on November 20th. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.